So welcome to BGP video trainings. Now in this section we will start with some of the basics of PGP like basic concepts and terminology. So if you just try to look into the basic things what we are going to see first we'll start with autonomous system number what is autonomous system number and then we'll see the differences between IGP and EGP protocols some of the basic features of BGP and then we'll see the loop prevention mechanism in the BGP and then finally we'll wrap up this video by understanding when it is more appropriate to use BGP and when it is not really recommended to use BGP. So let's get started first with autonomous system number. Now from our basic CCNA studies we already learned what is autonomous system number. Autonomous system number is simple. It's a collection of networks under a single common administrative domain. So that's what we say. It's a collection of routers under a single administrative domain like take an example I got one organization where it has a specific locations and all are part of the same organization let's say it is AS number 100 and this organization is let's say ABC and all the routers within that organization will be represented with one number and we call that as autonomous system number okay now the next thing is like similar way we can have uh, multiple autonomous system numbers and if you want to communicate within the same autonomous system number or within the same organization generally we use IGP protocols like whatever the protocols we learn in our previous videos in the basic CCNA CCNP videos so we call that RIP RIP version 2 IGRP no more used EHRP OSPF ISS these are all IGP protocols so the main difference is IGP protocols operates within the same autonomous system number so if you want to communicate within the same organization or same autonomous systems then we use something called interior gateway protocols we call them as IGP protocols so all these protocols listed here they are typically your IGP protocols but let's say if you want to communicate between two or more different autonomous system members then we use an exterior gateway routing protocol and the only protocol which is running on the internet which is allowing you to exchange the route between two or more different autonomous system numbers is BGP protocol. So BGP is the only protocol which is running in the internet backbone and which is majorly responsible for uh, maintaining the routes or exchanging the routes between the two or more different autonomous systems and the service providers use BGP protocol and by using BGP they control all the routing information. So BGP is the only protocol which is designed to for a huge huge network that is internet so we'll, we'll see some of the points anyway more into that more in detail about the BGP features now in this section we have seen the autonomous system number it's a just a routers under a common administration now if you are communicating between two or more different autonomous system numbers like we are trying to see exchange the routes between two or more different autonomous system numbers we use a protocol called BGP okay so next thing what we'll see is we'll get into IGP routing like when we talk about IGP routing we have seen static default and dynamic routings and inside that dynamic routing we have seen RIP, EHRP, OSPF, ISS all these protocols so all these protocols operate within the same autonomous system numbers so we call them as IGP protocols but if you want to communicate between two or more different autonomous system numbers we use a BGP protocol so first we'll start with some of the basic features of BGP like BGP is a standard protocol you can run this protocol on any vendor device and it is an exterior gateway routing protocol exterior in the sense it is going to exchange the routes between two or more different autonomous system numbers so we call it as exterior gateway protocol and it is specially designed for inter AS domain routing inter AS means communication between two or more different autonomous system numbers let's say this is AS100 want to communicate with AS200 like I got a previous diagram between these two AS we use BGP protocol and is specially designed to scale a huge internet work like internet it supports classless and then it supports all your FLSM, VLSM, CADR uh, manual and auto summarizations all these things are supported in the BGP just like we have in all our IGP protocols and it's similar to your internal protocol updates are incremental and trigger updates are supported and we call BGP as a path vector protocol now what what is mean by path vector so path vector is 
a method of extending the routes along with a path information like like take an example here I got I got a diagram here you can see the diagram here now let's take an example this router is going to advertise this 10.1.1.0 network so now this router is going to advertise this network into the next autonomous systems which means it is going from one AS to another AS so it is going to carry that 10.1.1.0 network and at the same time it is going to carry the AS path information so it is coming from which AS so 65400 AS now when it sends it is going to pass on this information to this router and when this router is going to pass on the information to next router or next autonomous systems it is going to carry that network information just like your normal IGB protocol but it is going to carry the autonomous system path information so it's, it's going to say that it's coming from 65400 that is this AS and then it is going to this uh, it is coming from these two A's so it's crossing these two autonomous systems and reaching here and finally when this router is going to send it to the other router it is going to pass on that information like it is originating from this AS and then it has reached the next AS and then finally it has reached this is the last AS so we call this as AS path information and when it is going to carry any routing update it's going to make sure that it is going to carry this autonomous system path information now this is uh, very useful especially when you are uh, especially in a loop prevention mechanism there is something called loop prevention mechanism which I'll be discussing in our next video next sections probably I'll get into that more in detail okay so we call it as the path vector protocol where it is going to carry the path information from which autonomous system hops it is moving on so that is one of the one of that's the reason we call it as path vector protocol and then some more differences some more uh, features of BGP it sends updates to manually neighbors using unicast so this uh, this point I'll get into more uh, clear when I get into BGP neighbors now this point will tell that like manually you have to configure the neighborship now what is manually let's take an example uh, we got two routers and if I'm running OSPF protocol or any other protocol let's say EHRP protocol by default when you advertise this interface it is going to send a hello message to the other side of the interface and then it is going to reply to that hello message based on that hello messages they automatically establish the neighborship so they'll automatically become the neighbors and they automatically build the neighbor table that is something automatic neighborship but in BGP we don't have that in BGP we have to manually configure the neighbor which means we need to say that router 2 you are my neighbor let's say this is router 1 router 2 on the router 1 you have to configure a neighbor command saying that you are my neighbor and on the router 2 you have to configure a neighbor command saying that uh, router 1 is the neighbor of router 2 and if both the sites neighbor commands matches if everything is properly configured then you'll find the neighborship comes up that's what manual neighborship configurations we got some initial labs majorly dedicated on this so I'm not getting into practical things probably in our next couple of videos in the third or fourth video probably will directly jump to these labs where I will also show you the configuration how it goes and some more detail on whatever we discussed so next thing it's a BGP's application level protocol for reliability it uses TCP protocol it works on port number 179 and the metric metric it uses a lot of attributes so we got a weight attribute local preference and AS path origin next stop we got a lot of attributes BGP supports very rich amount of attributes which can affect the path manipulation process like in OSPF it uses bandwidth and the default formula it uses is 10 to the power of 8 divided by bandwidth in case of EHRP it is going to use bandwidth delay load MTU reliability in case of RAP it is going to use hop counts but in BGP the path selection process varies and it's majorly on these attributes so more on these attributes will definitely get into this in our advanced BGP concepts so as of now I can simply say that it supports rich attributes which can really affect the path manipulations and then finally administrative distance uh, is 20 if the route is coming from external BGP 
again we'll see the differences of external BGP and internal BGP also if the route is coming from external BGP or from a different autonomous system name that will have the administrative distance of 20 if the route is coming from the same as that's what we call as internal BGP we have the administrative distance of 200 so again uh, more in detail about IBGP and BGP I'll be definitely covering in detail in our next sections so here I'm just getting into some basic information which is going to define the features of BGP so like if you remember just now I discussed loop prevention mechanism in BGP now there is a possibility like you are connecting to internet and you are connecting to your service forwarder from one side and probably you are connecting to another service forwarder from the other side so you may be advertising your route let's attend our network and this route is advertised to a service forwarder or it can be advertised to some other autonomous system members and from there it reaches the internet cloud and from there there is a possibility of the same route coming back again now that will again create the loop but in BGP there is a, a rule that whenever a router sees its own AS number like if you remember just now I discussed the path vector behavior like take an example I got this network 180.10.0.0/16. Now this network is originating from AS100. When it sends to the AS router, the second AS or the next AS, it is going to carry the network information like 180.000 or 10.000 whatever it is, and it is going to carry the autonomous system path information, saying that it is coming from 100. And from there, when it reaches the other AS. Now the same network 180.10.0.0.0/16, it is going to carry the AS path information that it is coming from 100 here, and then reaching 200, and then finally reaching to my AS. And when this AS, it is going to forward it to AS 500. It is going to forward that network information with 180.0.0.0/16, and it is going to say that it's coming from 100. So in general, it will be reverse and then it's reaching AS200 here and then coming to 300 so which means now this routers will understand inside these routers in AS500 they will understand that this network is coming from 100 and then going to 200 and then coming to 300 finally reaching to my autonomous system numbers now after this from here this is again advertised back to AS100 now when it is going to advertise this information now when a router receives this information it is already running AS100 and whenever it sees its own AS number inside that update it's not going to accept the route so this is the default loop prevention mechanism in BGP protocol whenever a routers like you can see 180.10. network is not accepted by AS100 as a prefix as is in its AS path this is a loop detection in action default loop prevention mechanism in the BGP so BGP will never install any route when it sees its own AS number so I'm running AS100 and I'm getting a route called 10 dot network which also have AS100 so it's something originating from my AS and coming back to my AS again so because when you are connecting to internet definitely you are uh, connecting to multiple routes and there is a possibility that the routes will be coming from multiple sites or the same route is coming back again to my AS. So this is something uh, loop prevention mechanism you need to understand the default behavior of the BGP.